Football Manager 2022 Juventus play rating. Shout out Kyle and shout out Amira Fioni because he wanted me to do um, Fiorentina play ratings because of Vlahovic, but Vlahovic is at Juventus now. I'll still do Fiorentina, I'm just letting you know, but let's get into it. Nickname, no nickname because copyright, whatever it's called, owner status, loves the club, whatever. And Continental Competition Champions Cup because um, I'm not going to lie, I don't think they'll win that for a very long time. Um, they're, 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 fa- they're falling off still. I mean, look at what they used to be doing. Now they're sitting fourth. So, yeah, they're definitely falling off. They're not the same Juve still. Um, They've got good players, but overall it's not the same still. For the squad, we're going from Wojciech Szczesny, bruv, all the way to Alvaro Morata. Cool. All right, first player that we've got is Wojciech Szczesny, who is 31, so he's in that prime age now for goalkeepers, you get me? Um, And he's still doing his thing, as you can see. Um, As a goalkeeper defend, man's got the reflexes, agility, and the one-on-ones, all um, 15 and above, which is really good. Um, but in terms of him playing out from the back, 17 composure, passing is 11, kicking is 16. You can still do it, don't get it twisted, he's still got the ability, but obviously the passing is a little bit slack. But overall, he's a good player, um, world class, as you know, man like Chesney. So. And next we've got this guy, a man like Carlo Pinsoglio, whatever his name is, man like, um, he's, he's 31, and, and he's got 13 reflexes, 13 agility, and 12 one one so... For a registration goalkeeper, because that's what it looks like he is, he's not too bad, can't lie. He's just decent, and that is where I'm going to leave it. Still, man, like Pinsoglio, say. All right, lastly, for the goalkeepers, we've got Mattia Perrin, um, who is actually a really good backup goalkeeper. Um, 17 reflexes, 50 agility, and 51 and ones. He says sweeper keeper attack. I don't believe this guy's got 12 composures. First touch is five, bruv. Dead, you get me? And then the kicking is 11. Passing is five. Don't ever believe this guy's flipping lies, bruv. He's lying to you. Don't believe him. He's definitely a goalkeeper defence still. Don't listen to this flipping liar. Cool. So. First outfield player that we've got is Giorgio Chiellini. Um, he's 36. So this just shows you, like, no disrespect to Serie A, but listen, that's, like, so similar to MS. I'm not going to lie, like, in terms of, like, the amount of old players you see in there, yeah? Well, 36 for footballers old, but in real life, you're young still. But, yeah, um, man, man just have bare old players. His movement is gone. I mean, he's still got 12 pace, but that's 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 nothing if you think about it. Man's got eight agility. He's going to get done regardless, bruv. Anyone with pace will do him dirty. But then again, his mental ability is just the best that I've ever seen in my life, bruv. He's just on, on a different level mentally. And then his tackling, you don't lose your technical ability. So he's always had this kind of technicals. I don't know if he used to be able to pass really good, but apparently his, his pivot is dead, bruv. You get me? But yeah. As as a player, um, I don't even know, is he their captain? I have no clue. Um, but 19 leadership, he probably is. But yeah, he's, he's a very good player, man, like Chiellini. So. All right, um, next player that we've got is Leonardo Bonucci. Um, and as you know, him and Chiellini, they've um, formed a formidable partnership over the years, as we know, bruv. Um, this guy's the more ball-playing one, um, even though I think Chiellini was more composed. I can't remember, but as a pivot, 13 technique, 17 vision and 17 passing is nuts, bruv, as we know. But yeah, mentally, it's still dif- it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Man's got mad strength as well, good physicals for a 34 year old. He's doing his thing, can't lie. Um, very good player. The only problem is that 13 tackling is not convincing. But as a player, he's he's really good, man, like Bonucci. So. Alright, next one they've got is Matthias Delit, bruv. A man's only 21, you get me? And he's still saucing. Like, he looks amazing still. Um, obviously, composure could improve over the years, but it definitely will, especially in game. Um, you lot know anyway what these guys can do when they're young, especially. But yeah, he's got 15 jump pre, 16 head in. 18 strength at that age is not a joke. He's embarrassing man that are double his age, literally, bruv. Like, in this league, bruv. And then the pivot, 40 technique for envision on 40 passing is really good as well. And then he's good in the air. Yeah, overall, he's, he's a fantastic centre, but man, like, Matthias Delic. Cool. Believe it, at one point, that's, that um, this guy, he actually used to be a very good player. I'm not going to lie, he used to be really good. I look at the wages, and he, at one point, justified those wages. But now... It's, 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 it's peak still. I can't lie. I don't really trust this guy on the ball. Um, I mean, 12 technique, 12 vision, 12 passes, not bad. 13 first touch, not bad. Nine composure will always let you down. Bro. That's one thing that's guaranteed. That composure will let you down. I'm very good positioning. Um, he's very concentrated on the ball, but who gives a toss? Nobody cares, bro. Um, he's got good strength, good movement off the ball. I mean, not off the ball, positioning is 14. He's still, to be fair, he doesn't actually look that bad. Maybe I'm being harsh, but... I just know that mentally he's 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 lacking it still. Let's be honest, man. Like Rogani, bro. And right, next we've got this thirty-three-year-old guy that runs like he's twenty-one, bro. And as you can see, he's got sixteen pace, seventeen agility, seventeen acceleration. At that age, it's mad. Natural fitness, nineteen. He's moving crazy. I can't lie. And on top of that, not only is he moving mad, but he's actually got the ball stuck to his foot because the dribbling is seventeen. Flair is sixteen. You can't just nick it off him like that. He's actually got mad end product as well. 
Wow, yeah, he's, he's a very good player still. The pivot, 17, 15, 15. And then the crossing, 15 crossing. Yeah, overall, I can't lie, he's amazing. Um, He's, he's a very good right back. The only thing is that tackling isn't really there, but it's under average by one. I'll give it to him. He's, he's a good player. Man, like Juan Cuadrado. Cool. All right, next player that we've got is Alexandro, um, 30 years of age. Um, would you say that he's already had his prime? I have no clue. I can't I can't tell you. But yeah, as a, as a player, 40 technique, 12 vision and 40 passing is very good. Um, good end product as well with the crossing, dribbling is decent, flair is decent as well. And then pace, 15, agility, 13, acceleration, 13. So he's still got decent movement for his age. Strong, he's good defensively with 15 tackling. Overall, he's a very well-rounded player. Um, not really too much I can say about him apart from concentration. So, um, oh, apart from that, he's, he's actually really good. Can't lie, man, Alexandro. Cool. Our right, next video we've got is Danilo. Um, on paper, when you look at that deal with the Cancelo, I'm thinking, who in their right mind would swap Danilo for Cancelo? But in game, I can't lie, he's actually not that bad. Um, that means in real life, he's probably not that bad as well. But yeah, what I know is that in game, he looks decent. Um, 40, 30, 50 vision and 15 passing is really good. Um, and then the pace is 14, 12 agility for his elevation. He's still got decent movement for a 30-year-old. Um, he's very versatile, um, similar to Cancelo, he's versatile. Um, not really the best shooter from close range. He's good at long range shooting, though. Mentally, he's really good. Tackling is good as well. Overall, he's a very good player. Man like Danilo, good player still. So. Next player we've got is Mattia De Siglio, um, 28 years of age. 13, 10, 11 vision and 13 passing is decent. He can play right back and left back for squad depth. That's decent as well. Um, good movement, all 14s, um, composure. Dead, where's the first touch? All right, it's not too bad. Can't dribble, got no composure, so fullback support is probably what's best for him if you're going forward. But just to play it safe, I will always put him on fullback defend, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, as a player, if I'm gonna decide if I'm keeping him, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to sell this guy. Um, honestly, he's not He's not that good, bruv. He's, he's just taking wages. 91K, dead, dead. And right, next we've got this guy called Luca Pellegrini. Um, he's 22, complete wing back. Now, the only reason why you would put someone complete wing back if they're really good going forward or they can't defend, which he isn't at any. Like, he's not bad defensively and he's not really good going forward. So, you can just put him on normal wing back if you want to or normal full back if you want to, which is probably what I'm going to do because of that agility. Um, yeah, so he's a full back now that can tackle. He can get to the Dubai line and he's got a good cross. And he's got 16 work crate for indetermination, 17 aggression. So, he's got a bit of grit as well to back up his technical ability, which is really good, yeah. And overall, he's a good left back, can't lie. Um, he's young as well. He's a fringe player, I can't lie. He is probably going to be my starting left back if I'm managing this team. The only problem is that composure, but because he's young, I'll give it. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt still, can't lie. Man, that like Luca Pellegrini, good player. So. Next player that we've got is Arthur or Arthur, bruv. Um, man said someone sh um, split his shins, so he's gone for two to three months. That is peak, bruv. Whoever done that is evil, you bastard, bruv. You get me? Um, anyway... 16 Teddy's 12 vision and 18 passing is a very good pivot. The only problem is that vision. Man can't see what he's doing, but he's still got the maddest execution. Top 10 execution in this game. And he still can't see what he's doing. So that's just a diss to everyone that's got deader execution than him. He's there. And you know, you know, I can do this blindfolded and you lot can't do a thing about it, bruv. And yeah, and under pressure, 14 composure is good. He's got 16 first touch as well. Um, the movement, um, the agility is mad, balance is mad as well. Very good low centre of gravity with the dribbling. It's going to be a good problem for defenders. He is a deep lying playmaker. So that vision is not really, it's, it's making me look at him a bit differently still. But to be fair, in a ball retention system, he'll be amazing. Um, yeah, when he gets back from his split shins, he, he will provide value. So my like Artos. All right, next player we've got is Manuel Locatelli. Um, Arsenal fans wanted this guy. Did he want you? No, safe. Anyway, 23, you get me? Um, he's, he's doing his thing, let's be real. He's on loan, joining permanently. And as you can see, 16 technique, 15 vision and 16 passing is an amazing pivot. He can tackle the ball very well as well. Um, can't dribble, but this is just me confirming that he is a deep playing playmaker. He's one of those guys that in the future he's going to be one of your key players in it, as you can see. Um, he can do anything apart from take free kicks which i guarantee you and take long throws which i guarantee you for both of those roles you've got someone else to do that so it's not it's not crucial at all as a player though like he's he's amazing he'll be world class one day as well currently his stats look elite though i have to be honest man like locatelli so. all right next one we've got is weston mckenney um 22 years of age ball in a midfielder running around kicking man's legs he's that kind of midfielder um because on the ball he looks dead um 13 technical vision 13 passing Dead pivot, bruv. Um, no concentration. Mentally, he gets busy. That's that's what I'm going to say because 15 work rate, determination 17, aggression 17. He's doing his thing, can't lie. And he's got mad finishing as well. So yeah, box-to-box -box midfielder is probably what it's going to be. For that lack of ability, man could be box-to-box, run around, 
shoot on the occasion. Um, not from far, but from close range, because nine long shots compared to 40 British in is a different thing, can't lie. Overall, he's a good player, um, honestly. He's got mad strength, good physicality. He's a good player still, but yeah, just box to box him because he can't do anything else. So. All right, so you've already got Weston McKenney to do the dog work, yeah, but you've got this guy as well. Um, I mean, how much did you pay for man like Dennis Zakaria? Oh, seven million. That's not too bad, to be fair. All right. Um, 13 technique, 12 vision and 12 passing. Man is another guy that is not good on the ball. And then off the ball, though, um, 14 off the ball, 17 work rate. Determination is 13. Aggression, 17. He is another person that you wouldn't play if you're trying to like win like a possession game. Like you're not you're not gonna play someone like this if you're playing against a like Inter Milan or a Lazio or AC Milan where you're trying to actually win the midfield battle. Then you'll play this guy just just to break up their play. Because ap apart from that, if you're playing against a lower team, you have no reason to play a guy like this. I have to be honest. Man, like Dennis Zakaria, he's still good. But there's definitely levels. We've seen man at Locatelli show the levels, bruv. This guy is not level still. So. Next player that we've got is Federico Bernardeschi, bruv. Now, he is on. I, I, you know, why am I looking at the wages? That has nothing to do with me, bruv, or what I'm trying to get from this video. The wages don't mean nothing. But the only reason why I look at the wages is just to see if they're matching how much they're getting paid. And honestly, honestly, um, I know it has nothing to do with me, but I'm going to be nosy for one more, one more player, bruv. Listen. Man is getting 120 bags a week, yeah? And I'm looking at his mental ability. And the composure is nine. The decisions are eight, bruv. Are you crazy? Um, I don't know what these men are paying for. I don't know if they just like his tattoos and they're like, you know what, we just want you to model for the for the Juventus shirt, bruv. But apart from that, I have no no idea why this guy is playing um like on, on this high level. You get me? End product, 11 finishing, bruv. 13 passing. His best end product is his flipping crossing which is 14 bruv and he can't even actually know what he can he's got a good pace to be fair overall he's dead bruv I can't lie I can't play this guy and he's he's not he's not that good still man like Federico Bernardeschi he's, he's nah 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 he's, he's yeah let, let me go off this card bruv next player we've got is Adrian Rabio. Um, I remember when I was an Arsenal fan I really wanted this guy Um, he chose Juventus over us which is cool and I'm thinking what would you have missed if you wanted him um He's six foot two in that midfield, so he's got mad aerial presence, mad physical presence as well, because he's got sixteen pace, seventeen strength. He's still got agility for someone that's six foot two. Um, fifteen technique, twelve vision, and sixteen passing is not a bad pivot for a ball retention centre midfielder. Um, dribbling fourteen, no no flair, good first touch, composure is not really there. Um, he makes the right decisions, concentration is not there. Overall, he's average. Let's be honest. Um, I don't know why the media description says world class midfielder because. As we know, this guy is not world-class, bruv. Um, I don't know what he does to be world-class, let's be honest. If you're a Juventus fan, be honest, is this guy world-class? Because I know he's not. Let's be honest. You don't, you don't have to lie, bruv. You get me? But yeah, a man, Adrian Rabiot, he's he's just decent. He's a decent squad player at but at best, bruv. Let's be honest. See? Next player we've got is Federico Chiesa. Um, this guy is amazing. You get me? He kind of reminds me of a young Ronaldo because um the, the the dribbling is mad um the pace explosiveness is crazy um someone in the premier league needs to sign this guy immediately before he gets a permanent move to juventus bruv because he is gonna tear up that league in it um if he plays week and week out i don't know what he's doing right now in real life but i know that what i saw at that world cup it's not a joke bruv like he's he's ridiculous when he plays for italy bruv but yeah um man's got the strength he's 23 Finishing is good as well. You can see he's an inside forward, not an inverted winger, because that decision making is not for an inverted winger. It's for an inside forward because he just wants to cut inside and shoot. You get me? Um, the work rate, determination, aggression, all sixteen and above. So he's got that mad pressing intensity. If he went to someone like Liverpool, game over for everyone in it. That's that's what I'm gonna say because they play with mad intensity as well, and he suits a mad intensity system. I don't know what they're doing in Italy. But I know when he plays for Italy, he's a different player still. Cool. Alright, next player you've got is man like Paolo Dybala, bruv. This is one of my favourite players in there, I can't lie. Um he's so wavy, like he's he's got too much flair about him. He's he's got too much swagger, bruv. And and this is the thing. Um he's apparently if he moves from Italy, you'll see how overrated he actually is. That's what I've heard, bruv. I, I don't really agree with that. I think he'll go to another league and tear it up in it. That's what I think. Especially, it sounds mad, but I think he'll do well in the Premier League as well. Um, I actually think he will, bruv. I was happy when that Tottenham move fell through because I know he's got a lot of ability. Can't lie. But yeah, um, Dybala now. As a cam, man's got 19 technical ability, 17 vision and 17 passing. So he's already got the passing off. Um, finishing. Not a lot of cams can shoot, but the way he shoots, it's, not, it's mad, bruv. 18 long shots, yeah. And then 15 finishing. 
All right, cool. Now he's got 18 dribbling and 17 flair. He's moving crazy. He hasn't got that explosiveness for speed yet, but trust me, he doesn't need it because you can't touch him anyway. When the ball is stuck to his foot like that, you can't touch him. Um, he can play a striker naturally as well. I probably would put him striker. I'm not going to lie. Cam, he can play Cam as well. It's mad. He's, he's just so well run. He kind of reminds me a bit like Harry Kane without the... Um, aerial presence even though he's got 13 headed nah he's sick I can't lie he really reminds me of Harry Kane I can't lie he really does bro yeah he actually yeah if they're trying to replace Harry Kane get this guy I'm not gonna lie even though it's not gonna be long term he's a very good player man like Paolo Dybala alright uh, next player we've got is Moise Keane cool um, this guy has improved significantly I'm not gonna lie um, 21 years of age and he I can't lie. Um, now, so you see them, them, them squads where they just have that one striker. I think he would suit one of those teams because you look like it looks like you just play it through him and he just bags hella goals, bro. That's what it looks like. So yeah, for Juventus now, my physical ability. Um, he's got good pace, sixteen pace, seventeen acceleration, um, bravery, aggression, determination, work rate. So he's good at pressing as well. And the the thing that surprised me the most was the finishing. You get me? A uh, man's got 16 finishing, which is crazy. You get me? Um, dribbling 14, so you can put him out wide if you want to, but I wouldn't because of the flair. But apart from that, he's a very good player. A man like Moise Keane is doing his thing, so I respect it very highly. All right, next player that we've got is man like Kyle George, bro. If you know about youth players from FM20 or FM21, you know about Kyle George, you get me? He turns into a beast, bruv. A very well-rounded beast as well. Um, so yeah, now that you already have him at Juventus, meaning that you don't have to buy him, he's, he's, he's he, if you give him enough game time, trust me, you'll see what I mean. Like, a lot of the things that you see that are 13 and 12, they all turn 15. And a lot of 15s is a very good thing, for a striker especially. So yeah, man like Kyle George, he's got a very bright future. Um, he's, he's Brazilian. like He's going to get called up for Brazil and that is, he's a very good player. A very bright future still, man like Kyle George. Cool. All right, next player that we've got is Alvaro Morata. Um, I had to leave Lajovic until last, I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah, Morata, he's, he's, he's a good player, let's be honest. Um, in the right system, he can be very effective, but that's only in the right system because we've seen at Chelsea, when he's in the wrong system, he's exposed, bruv. Just like someone like Maguire. He was on those levels when he was in England, can't lie. Um, but yeah, no composure, very good in the air, good pace. Target man is what I would say he is, bruv, not going to lie. Um, just, just lump the ball up to him. Let him play in the air. Like that's, that's his speciality. On the ground, he's not really too good, even though 15 finishing is not bad at all. And long shots, 14. I ain't never seen that, but... We move, you get me? Anyway, anyway, um, play it in the air, put him as a target forward and you'll get the best out of man like Alvaro Morata. Cool. And lastly, we've got man like Dusan Vlahovic, bruv, who is world-class, you get me? You can see he's world-class at the age of 21, it's mad. Um, people like that you would compare him to, like Lukaku, he in one or two years will be better than someone like Lukaku, and it sounds mad, but it's true, and it let's be honest. If you just give him game time, he's gonna have that Haaland effect in it, where he's just gonna keep on scoring and scoring and scoring. You can't do anything about him in it. Um, yeah, so he is twenty one with eighteen finishing. The strength is seventeen, so he's already got the, the the physical ability and the finishing, the things that you need for a striker in this league. Yeah, and he's got additives that you don't need. For example, man's got long shots of fifteen. I don't know why he's got that, but he's got that in it. And I'm not saying he doesn't deserve. I'm just saying it's not fair for for anyone that's defending against him because man can just bang it from far if he can't be asked to to, to run into the box. He'll just bang it and it will go in, bro. You get me? And then in the air. You, you, you lump it up to this guy. He's six foot three with 17 strength. I guarantee you any money you're not getting the ball, bro. You get me? And then, yeah, um, on the ground, he's got 13 dribbling, 14 flair. So he's actually a good footballer. Like, he's got the fundamentals to be a good footballer, bro. You get me? And that's that's a problem still. Um, man, man has 18 penalty taken in big games. He's clutch as well overall. And the mental ability, yeah, he's just different in it um he can i can actually say those wages are justified bro he's 21 you get me come on levels levels what a signing can't lie um let's just quickly see how much they got in for because i know arsenal winning him but that's never gonna happen 60 million that's a bargain you'll see in a few years why i say that 60 million was a bargain still might not like do do vlavic amazing player all right so that was juventus player ratings um i don't know what's going on with their team right now i'm looking at their midfield and yeah i can understand why they're not doing too well they need new midfielders in it. I'm not going to lie. Their midfielders are kind of dusty right now, if I'm being honest. But yeah, um, that's a very big team, as you can see. 36 Serie A's won. Um, they, they're European winners as well. But the thing the thing about that one is that I don't know the next time they're going to win a European trophy because Europe is so competitive right now. I don't think they've got what it takes. Like, look what happened to them. Who was it that knocked them out flipping Villarreal or something? Come on. 
like come on there's levels in it so yeah um they, they've got a long way to go to get back but it's not going to take too long it's just the midfield really but yeah let's see what i'm talking about now all right so that is um juventus player ratings you get me um so this is what i'm talking about you look at that midfield you've got arto who's really good you've got locatelli who's really good but um the problem is someone like Rabio can't be starting week in, week out, if I'm being honest. Um, he's he's not levels. Um, you need someone. I mean, to be fair, Ben Tancor in-game was amazing. But in real life, apparently, he's not amazing. So that's another thing. But you, you do need another midfielder still. Maybe in the youth system, you, you might have someone. But you need to buy someone if you don't. But yeah, um, as you can see, Chesney in goal. Sweeper key for Ting. And then Quadrado right back. Pellegrini on that left back thing. Matias did it. Ball playing defender covering for Bonucci. Um, I put two ball playing defenders because I want to keep the ball, as you can see. And Locatelli is that deep playing playmaker who just sits in front of the defence, gives them extra stability. Um, advanced playmaker Arto, even though he's meant to be a deep playing playmaker, I'm going to make him advanced playmaker and support ball retention because he can't see what he's doing anyway. You might as well just pass it sideways and backwards, but he might as well. Even though he's going to be supporting, so he's not really going to be doing that, but, but that's cool. Box to box midfielder. Rabio, you get me, man's doing his thing. Like, he's got that physical ability, but the problem is he can't start a week in, week out for me. I'm going to have to actually sign someone if I'm being Juventus manager. And then the, the attack is what gets me excited. That's what gives me hope, bro. Even though Dybal is probably going to leave, you get me, he's probably going to leave, but it's not the end of the world if he leaves, let's be honest. But yeah, um, Chiesa on that left wing, he's not even yours, but you have to sign him permanently if you're Juventus. Vlahovic is yours, bruv, and you've got a bargain. 60 million is cheap. For someone like that, it's cheap, I can't lie. And then Dybala, number 10, cutting inside. Even though you could make him an advanced playmaker or you could put him as an actual cam, I'll keep him on that right wing for now still. Yeah, um, that is Juventus. It is a good team, but they've got work to do still if they want to get back to competing with AC Milan. And flipping into Milan and Lazio and then Mende. I don't even know who's, who's competing, but yeah. Um, you lot, if you like that video, like that video. Um, more, um, what's it? What's what's that Karim on? Newcastle Karim was coming, I think, tomorrow anyway. So yeah, you lot, if you like that video, like that video. Subscribe to the content you not to expect from me, and I'll see you in the next episode, bruv.